Welcome back to the Random Friends Squad podcast, the only podcast that's approved by Mike's mom. Oh. Yes, we love her. Hello. So, we, so everybody, <laughs> state your name. Jason. Mike. That, that's, bud, that's, a, that's a hand raise for anyone who's not watching. He tried to say bud. I saw it. Oh, really? <laughs> he said, I muted my mic because my dog was barking. <laughs> This show today might be a fast, truncated show because Mike's got to get to Taco Bell. I heard you are in the running for the new mascot for Taco Bell. Yeah, you know, uh, they thought they'd choose an Italian for a Mexican restaurant in America. So it just, we have a whole salad uh, salad bowl of just like all these different races. We got to satisfy everyone, you know? They picked you because of your beer. They're like, oh, we could just rub so much They're like, fried beef <laughs> over that thing and just outside. <laughs> They're like, oh man, he could probably catch so many freaking nachos that are falling in that thing. Oh, uh, it's perfect. Ew. Jason, how much for Mike to stick his chin in nacho cheese and pick it out, and then you just like suck all of it out? Just I, all like, of it. Off the beard? Yeah, uh, right after it comes out of hot nacho cheese. Dude, I would do that for 10 bucks. Uh, 10, 10 sounds good. 10? That's Wait, it, 10. What? 20? 20? Dude, it's, you're gonna gonna miss. it's hair. What the hell? For ten dollars, Jason I, said he's gonna eat nacho cheese out of Dude, I, tr- I tr- out of buy beard. <laughs> uh, both of yours, I think, for ten bucks. I tr- All right, I will, I will dribble, I will dribble that cheese right off my beard. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I take care yeah, of this we'll thing. Like, this is clean. Like, Jason, I, Jason should pay me to eat off. I of mean, this. my pubes are clean too, but y'all don't want to be <laughs> looking nacho okay. cheese. Okay. Mine's all yellow. Okay, let's let's talk about what's next to my freaking beard, my mouth, and not my freaking. Yeah, it's so what's going to happen? Are you trying the 2015 models of Chalupas or what? Um, well, okay, so I've done this twice already. I go to the headquarters in Irvine, and they have, like, a whole, like, room of people. And so um, I qualified from a pre, like, survey thing to go and taste test. They pay you $35 for an hour worth of time. And um, they don't tell you what you're testing till you get there. But the first time I went, I tried two different mochas because they were trying to do coffee things. And the second time, I tried those, like, little cinnamon delight things that they have for breakfast. Like, the Cinnabon yeah. cinnamon delight thing. Just one? Just uh, one okay, so um, the first time was two different mochas. And the second time, I think I had three different samples of, like, two or three of those little cinnamon things. So, like, it's a good amount of food. Like, you don't have to eat it all, whatever. But obviously, I'm going to eat it all because, like, it's all good regardless. <laughs> so How all- long after you eat it does it come out on the market? Oh, uh, I'm not, I'm not sure. Say, I, think, I think yeah, well, no, right. give it a few hours. <laughs> I, was, I, I think it depends on um like just what product it is. Like the cinnamon delights have already been out, but they like improved it or whatever. Um, but yeah, so they bring you two different ones, and you have like a little computer, and you do little surveys. Like, oh, was this too sweet? Was this not sweet enough? What would you change? You know, like I like the way that it gooped into my mouth when I, I bit into oh, it. I, li- oh. I like the way that you're paying me to eat. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. And it's Taco Bell. So I mean, what I does Taco Bell headquarters resume. look like? Um, a big building, like I don't know, it's a big taco. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's not as cool as you would think. Actually, the outside is really nice. They have like yep. little fountains and like little like walkways that have water around it. Like too fancy for Taco Bell. Oh, is it hot sauce for <laughs> water? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, they have the Verde sauce coming down over the rocks. Yeah, yeah. do they really? Oh. Yeah, they have all the messages on the walls from the hot sauce packets that say, "Will you marry me as you walk up?" And you just feel really awesome. This place sounds kind of disappointing. Do they have like a big like bronze statue of like their version of Ronald or like not Ronald but like who is the founder of McDonald's? The Chalupa, like, the Chalupa dog. Hello, the Chalupa <laughs> dog. I imagine it being like Wonka Land where I walk in there and like I said, hot sauce everywhere, nacho cheese rivers flowing everywhere. <laughs> oh my the, uh, god! Hero Taco Bell dog sitting on the throne that looks cooler than the Game of Thrones with his like cap on and his red god. like with like king's thing Dude, but you, none almost, of that? you almost got it no it's pretty pretty I basic building <laughs> it looks but like a cafeteria from high school i every, just flip chairs i think oh. they have like an obsession with will smith because every time i go in there in the waiting room before like my round is up to go taste test there's always a will smith movie on like the first time it was hits the second time it was like i am legend i was like damn y'all really love will smith over here so that's cool <laughs> maybe it's uh maybe it's some subliminal advertising that makes you hungry maybe will smith makes you hungry maybe black people yeah. make you like tacos more who knows? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't like tacos. Maybe so, so, what okay, I got so, from this was uh, an Italian guy is going to have cheese dripping off his beard into Will Smith's mouth, and someone's gonna get paid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> someone's gonna get paid. <laughs> so wait, I have more questions. All right, so let's hear. when you go there, do they make you sign an NDA so you can't talk about it? No. Will you come back next week on the podcast and tell us every detail about everything that you did? Absolutely, unless I actually do sign an NDA and I don't remember. But yes. Would you be sad? <laughs> Would you be sad if you showed up and all and you couldn't eat anything? All they wanted to do was test out 
the new way they fold tacos in their papers, and then you just had to unfold taco after taco after taco to find out which like unfolding method was the best. Would you be disappointed? Like, did you not? Like, have you fasted all day so you could eat some tacos? No, 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 no. Well, I'm on Herbalife still, so like this is a treat regardless. Like, if I get to go smell tacos, I'll be happy. Like, I don't <laughs> care. Like, it doesn't matter to me. Um, I was gonna say how how is this uh, yeah. taco testing fitting into your diet? I, it's not really, but you know, I'm I just, mean, you have to do but, it for like, like all said, of our benefits. It, it could, oh yeah, it might not be tacos because I mean, okay, based on the survey, just like the last few times they've been a little different. It looked like they asked like, what products have you eaten from Taco Bell? And I clicked like a salad one, and they, I feel like it's gonna be a fucking salad, and I'm gonna be like, this is stupid, but like we'll see. I don't care. No. Hey, salads are good for me, even if they're from look. Like, I, I I want to praise you for this because you are single handedly responsible for the taste buds of us stoners and our <laughs> late night snacks through the drive throughs at two in the morning. And if you're like nay on the nay on the burger the taco burger and yay on the salad, <laughs> we're gonna be like I'm gonna be like what is this? It's gonna be directly. <laughs> So I'm glad oh, you're no. doing this. Hey, yeah. I, got, I know that you help make yeah, right you, decisions. I, yeah, I got. I, you can put the weight on my shoulders. I'm okay with that. Uh, last <laughs> question: Are you gonna wear that Charizard shirt? Oh fuck yeah! Are you kidding me? Why wouldn't I? That way, if he Is, drips hot sauce, nobody will know. <laughs> do you think you could sell? Like, could you sneak a Cinnabon new Cinnabon snack back from there and sell it on eBay? Like 2015 <laughs> Taco <Bell> snacks. <laughs> His oh, little pocket. <laughs> I think, the only thing I, could, I think the only thing I could steal from there and sell would be like a new Doritos taco because people are crazy about that. Other than that, people would be like, you made that in your kitchen. Go fuck yourself. I'm really hoping there's a new colored sauce, new like hot pack sauce <laughs> or like a hot sauce. No, I feel like they would have asked questions about sauces. Do you put sauces in your tacos when you go? Then come yeah. drink this gallon of sauce. Ugh. Yeah, I almost oh. buy my food back in hot sauce packets. Like, I use a lot of them on my Taco Bell. I drown that thing on there like it's an Inchirito. So you don't like any of the, any of the food there? <laughs> I love Taco Bell's meat. I love it. It's great. It's but good. You, but but you, you slather it in stuff that takes away the flavor. It's just another ingredient. Like, you know, okay. I, it's either that or He's Mexican, nice dude. Food. That's, that's yeah. what they do. Okay, hold on. Yeah, before man. we continue, before we continue. It's free, so why not? It's you said free. you like, you said you like Taco gone. Bell's beef. Yeah, it's good. Just whatever is good. It's I good. honestly, like, I, I just, when I used to go there, I used to get soft tacos, like, just plain, like, that was the fucking shit. I loved oh, it. Yeah. And then, like, they had the whole debacle where it wasn't real beef, and they changed their formula, and I th does not taste as good now. I don't like it as much. <sighs> I used to only eat the ch Chalitos back in the like, day. Like, the, the kangaroo meat. Dude, I like whatever, mind the, it. Dude, whatever I they used to put in there, I, that, I liked it, dude. Whatever, Kangaroos I don't know. are badass. They're always knocking down children and boxing. <laughs> kangaroo Jack was even funny, so I'm good with the kangaroo meat. What about you, buddy? You, you like Del uh, Taco Bell? Yeah. yeah. They have Taco Bell back there, no problems? Oh, yeah, they got Taco Bell everywhere. No Del Taco. Yeah. No Del it's, Taco. it's White Castle that's only around this area. Oh, He's got, it, and Bud's Hardy's. actually got a, Bud's got a Del Taco close to, not too far uh, from him. No way, man, because I've been looking. I've Dude, been looking. That's, I was about to drive like two hour, two and a half hours each way for, <laughs> for some Del Taco. <laughs> Dude, that's like like our a day trip out for some chili cheese fries. <laughs> Didn't you do that though with the Carl's Jr.? That's almost like our Sonic yes. trips. Yeah. How much out of the way? How much out of the way? Okay, like here's where you're at and here's home. How much out of the way did you go to get to the food place? Okay, well it's it's an eight hour or well it's a seven hour the way I drive it's it's a seven hour drive to Mackinac. If you go through Indiana and Michigan up through all the way through Michigan. And then you get to the top of Michigan, and that's seven hours. You could also you could go home the same way, or you could go home across across the peninsula, like up into the upper peninsula of Michigan, down through Wisconsin, and come back through into Chicago. You've almost brushed Canada. That's oh yeah, you're like you're you're tickling Canada's taint <laughs> yeah, right I'm there. Yeah, taint. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, so if you go that way, it's actually like an eight and a half hour drive. Mm -hmm. Um, but there was a Carl's Jr. Well, Hardee's on the way. Was like, it worth it? Well, we were going anyway. There's a the way that I found it was there's these things called pasties. Um, pasties. Oh yeah, like they go on the they boobs. Call, and they then call you pasties. I get yelled at for saying it wrong. It's pasty. It's a pasty. Um, pasty. I, yeah, it's, awesome. it's, pasty, but it's a pasty. It's like what it is is it's a it's a um, like potatoes and meat inside of a like it's like a calzone of potatoes and meat. Oh. How big is it? Like like a small calzone. Oh dang. Like this. But it's um, in like calzone bread where it's thicker? Yeah, yeah, it's like a crust. Um I don't think they're good. They actually now have a pizza one, a pepperoni pizza one, which is actually pretty so freaking it's good. Literally a calzone. A calzone, right? But it's yeah. the sauce is a little different. It's kind of meatier. 
Um, mm. But there's a place that <clears throat> apparently was featured on the Food Network, um, and it's like one of the best pasties in in the UP. <laughs> in the UP. In the UP. The UP. Um, so like it, this place is like the ish, and everyone's about it. And so my girl's whole family they go home the Wisconsin way when they go home from Mac- Mackinac, so that they could Whew. get these pasties and i was like oh this sucks it's an extra hour <laughs> <laughs> so then you go a little bit further and it's there's a carl's jr right there and i was like whoop i'll go that way did you have remorse after you drove the two hours to get to it and you were full and you get back to the car with that like stomach ache did you just have remorse like shit what did i do no no i hadn't had i hadn't had a carl's jr in in like a year and a half so it, it felt amazing I love their Western bacon. I, I wonder if I moved back where you were at, like what like length I would go to to get that. Yeah, you obviously did. And you're I, you're sensible, so you went a long way. And they don't have the Western bacon. There's no Western bacon at Hardee's. Mm, you can't, like, right. you can't, you can't like, custom make it. Now they have like some bootleg like wannabe six dollar burger kind of style of it, so it's all expensive. But man, it's not the same. It's not. Well, you know they have the ingredients, so you get like a you get like a famous star, a superstar, or whatever the double one is, and you freaking go, hey, add barbecue sauce, add the fr- add the freaking the onion rings, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, add those dollar signs right on that and shit. Dollars, hey, yep. and then and then your two hour like drive Christmas will be worth wrap. it. With the <laughs> and my there. and my twelve dollar burger is the same <laughs> as a three twenty five burger in California. <laughs> hey, what about this? That's okay. What about the Kuro Kuro Burger, the black the black burger in Japan? Have you guys seen that making its way around the Facebook? Okay, what is I've what is it. that? I've seen it. Kuro like K U R O Burger. Burger King's Kuro Burger, and a Kuro means black in J- Japanese. Okay. So they just use like squid ink or whatever in it, and they just like dyed their cheese black, like black, 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 like like, like it looks black. like it's burnt cheese. Well, the bun is black. Not the bun even is burnt. Black it too, looks like yeah. it's been dipped in black paint. True, true. It doesn't look cooked. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta yeah, look at this. Guys, type it as Burger King's. It's Burger King's um, Shiro Burger, S H I R O, which means black. Shiro Burger. Shiro Burger or Kurosai. And they would give you one if you ordered it in Japan. But in Japan, the color black is not associated with death. It's associated with uh, not death. So they think it's neat. White's associated with death in Japan. So, the hell? you know, if stuff was white, yeah, yes. So, like, that's what they associate their colors with. So for them, it's kind of like a cool looking thing, you know. So, is uh, are there not goth wait, people How do you in spell Japan? it? Uh, um, S H I R O should be Shiro. What was your question? Uh, Kuro K U R O is for are, black. Kuro are, is are there no goth people in Japan? Because they're, they're, they're like they're, we're black because of not. death and and, and uh, try K U R O burger. Yeah. Oh black God, burger. no! I would not get that. I would not get that. That no, 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 no. It's it's something about it, right? Something about yeah, it. Right? it just no. No. Yeah, so. I mean, if all four of us were sitting here and saying no, and someone was like, "You should try it," I would be like, "Okay," but like, it doesn't. Look I mean, appet- I it doesn't look I appetizing, you know. <laughs> like, like, it doesn't like, look like, thing. Okay, give me thirty five dollars. I would say no. <laughs> Blindfold me and you know, feed me a piece, and then I'll. I you know, can't look at. Yeah, it but while but, I but eat. did you eat the colored ketchup when there was colored I ketchup did. out? Remember, it was purple or not. green. I was. Young. I did not. I had. Okay. Did I, you? What did you? I shit at colors. Did you really? I did. <laughs> my mom was freaking oh, out. We had like the purple and the green one, and they were just like, "It, it was purple and green." Dude, that, that, was, was, like, die, they put that shit was awesome. Like, I wish they would still do that. That shit was. I don't. Even I care. couldn't do it. It was mind fuck. Dude, what dip, about you, Jason? dipping McNuggets in green shit. Like, I don't. Even it care. was weird. I, that was <laughs> awesome. Shit. I was like, "Give me just some red ketchup." I, I was. I was a kid, dude. I don't know. I couldn't do it. I went to Burger King after it was when the Hulk movie came out, so they had the green ketchup yeah. at all the Burger Kings, and I'm like, "Oh my gosh, they've killed the Hulk." Like, you know, it's like he just, like, dropped just a big load into the ketchup. And it's like, Hulk smack. <laughs> See, Hulk I was, come low. I, was more, I think oh, I was more innocent first. I was more innocent. Oh, I didn't geez. realize that stuff. But it was... Right? Dude, so, dude, dude. I couldn't do that. So I could, I would try it, but what the heck? What the heck, Japan? You know what it reminds Manda, me of? Why? Yeah. Have you guys seen the episode of SpongeBob with the pretty patties? Where he's selling, yeah. like, crab patties that are all colored? No? <laughs> just my, my me? My tongue glows in the dark. Or what's wrong with you? <laughs> what about you, Jason? Would you eat it? Do you see a picture of it? I saw it. I stumbled it the other day, and I was Ooh, just like, "Oh, no thanks." That's weird. It's the cheese. It's the cheese that the gets the extra sure, layer. Yeah. I just saw the bun. Black. I saw it. I saw it like laid out. Like it was so black. Bun it was, was like kind of so next to black. it, and all the insides, and I was just like, "Oh, that doesn't look good at all." Yeah. No, oh, someone took a right. sharpie marker to it. That's what it looked like. It was like black. Like man. All right. So here's what we do. We try to call Go. This is in Japan. We get a hold of Gosh. We get Gosh to get one and eat yeah. one. Yeah. On Facetime. Or not? 
Um, okay. he'll he'll at least make video. Like he has okay, no problem. Okay, He's okay. not shy with the camera, so he'll at least make a video. I don't know if I could get it up in Japan. It's it's almost five my time, so it's n almost nine o'clock Japan time. So in the morning okay, tomorrow. But, so. but for him, like his culture, like is he weirded out about it? Like we are or no? Um, you know, I don't know, but I you'll can have ask. To, you'll have to I interview him first. Yeah, yeah, you'll have to I'll ask Gosh. And Gosh, for you guys, I don't know, is my Japanese friend from Japan that's really Japan and Japanese and learned some English in, um, in high school. They teach you English in school, so he knows a lot of English. But he has never been to America, so he's fully 100% Japanized. He, followed, I guess he follows me on say. Instagram. He's cool. awesome. I love Ghosh. Yeah, I Ghosh. love Ghosh. I don't know who that. Yeah, I remember Ghosh. I I used to write uh, birthday rap every every year on his birthday. I would write him a rap song. I remember <laughs> that every year. <laughs> and he's like, I don't know what you're saying, but it's <laughs> awesome. <Yay! laughs> you were rapping in your car while you were driving. Was, oh, I remember <laughs> that. Yeah, dude. Jason. Ghosh really loves down. Jason. Can we bring Ghosh that really back? loves Jason. Let's a bring lot back because... the the car raps. Sorry. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I used you know, to get voicemails because... like that from one of my friends. I don't. I don't commute anymore. I don't sit on the yeah, four or five for six freestyle. hours on the weekends. Mm, yep. <laughs> That's night, what it was. One night he was like, he was like, and I was sitting there eating an orange. He goes, and then nothing rhymes with orange except mm -hmm. for splorange. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> like, all right, it's awesome. It's like a yeah, freaking thirty-minute voicemail. <laughs> uh, do you guys rap? Do you rap in your car, Mike? No, I'm not good at rapping. I rap when I'm drunk, and then I say like the same things over and over again. I, I have a video of you. <laughs> I'd like to see that video because my <laughs> skills were probably better back then. Because like this is how my raps go. My raps go when I'm drunk here. Yo, yo, okay, um, yo, let's play tic tac toe, and you play GI Joe, and we'll kick it with another flow. And yeah, I like I like GI Joe and Tic Tac Toe. But I'm those are the only two things I say. Those are the only two things. This is my go-to. You know why? You're slow because your beard's holding your jaw back. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see Eight Mile where um, um, Eminem had that huge beard and then he shaved it off in the bathroom and in the toilet? And what? then he went out there and rapped. No, that wasn't a beard. That was Were you watch Eddie. Yeah, you're watching <laughs> the fucking boot you're watching the bootleg version, dude. What the hell? He had a beard? <laughs> you told no, what is going beard. on? But he did have mom's spaghetti. <laughs> he was mom's nervous. spaghetti. Poor bud. How's Warcraft going there, bud? Uh, it's all right. I'm. What just, are you? I'm what are you? Nine. I'm a death knight. <gasps> what, what level? Uh, ninety. Are you? And you're knight? on the beta of the new uh, expansion pass. So no, actually, called? right now I am trying to get all of uh, all of my battle pets. Trying to get a bunch of them. I've been streaming that a lot lately. Well, Mike would love Warcraft now because they turned it into Pokemon, where they made all the pets that run around the land in the game catchable and fightable with like yeah, that's stats and stuff. that's what I've been doing. I liked Warcraft well, they've before got, that. So, oh, that's right. You played Warcraft? Got, yeah, I forgot. Uh, about it. That's right. Jason doesn't wait. Jason, it ruined didn't my I life. Didn't tell you two and a half years of war? It ruined my life. Too. Well, it made it, yeah. It wasted two and a half it, years it of my life. I loved it, dude. Yeah, I mean, dude, no, I loved years. it too. Yeah, I feel you. Off and on, well, off and on for the last two years, but I've been playing for six. Uh, never last time I installed never it, never touched it, stuff, I man. Dude, yeah, you don't want to <laughs> be like us, dude. You don't want to be like us. Don't do it. <laughs> Last year, they're like, hey, here's this scroll of resurrection. I'm like, I'm in. And I got 30 days or 14 days for free. But as soon as I installed it, I felt sick. Yeah, I looked dude. over to Crystal and she just died a little inside. <laughs> dude, yeah, I couldn't. I'm allowed I, to I play would be, any game. I would be gone. I would be gone. Okay. I would check out. Like, literally, you guys, My, we wouldn't do this. Yeah, right. My <laughs> requisite for gaming now is um, as long as it has a pause button, I can play it. I think when <laughs> I, I stopped life. playing World of Warcraft is when I started doing better in school. So... I can see that. Your life. I learned another language after I quit Warcraft. Dude, That's it's quit Warcraft. I got popular. I started freaking hanging out with Jason and all them. You know, like. He's like God. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Warcraft ruins your life, man. It makes but you I will say it's awesome. Awesome. people like Marcus this, Metz. This is a PSA. <laughs> Damn, your name dropping a hole. <laughs> The first and last name, dude. That's it. Dude. I don't give a fuck. Whoa, that's how we I'm met fine. Marcus. Marcus, we met Marcus on. That's World why Warcraft. I said it yeah. makes you people like Mar meet people like Marcus Metz. That was fun. That was a fun except time. that he was, was a fucking time. asshole and like yeah. talked a bunch of shit to me and like tried to fight me when I went and picked up my TV. Yeah, I'll kill that guy. I was like, no one I'm moving to my... Chicago. Fuck off, bro. No, no one talks to my Jason like that. <laughs> Aw. What's that? We can't see. Having issues. Having a little issues, guys. Do you have Find iOS? Phone, man. You have iOS eight yet? No, you know why? Because I apparently, I before Jobs died, he said, <laughs> "Thou shall have X amount of blank available space on your device, or you could install the next update." 
and I don't have the acquired space. But they didn't tell me that until 50% of the way through. Have you installed iOS 8, Mike? Oh, yeah, I have. I am... Um... I was uh, I was in school all day, so I was hearing about all the issues with like all the space. So like, at, in class, I'm sitting there like deleting photos, deleting apps, like clearing all my text messages and shit, <laughs> Just deleting all my bad memories. I yeah, you know we don't need the bad memories anymore. So I have two gigabytes of space. Finally, I need four. I'm like crap. What I'm gonna do? I'll worry about this when I get home. So I plug my computer in or plug it into my computer. And um, it ended up working just fine. So, like, I'm stoked. I have iOS 8. It, it um, didn't take too long because I did it after everyone else downloaded it. And so far, I love it. Um, not many issues, but I like all the new features, even though there's not a whole lot. Um, but, yeah. So, it's been out for... It came out yesterday in the middle of the day, like, uh, around, like, 10 or noon or something like that. So, you said you plug it into your computer. So, how much free space do you have on your phone now? So, how much space did it actually take on your phone? The thing is, is I'm pretty sure it needs the free space to like install everything, and then it like uninstalls all that stuff it used. I'll yeah, check. I'll check it right has now. To do a switcheroo. Yeah. So it's like it's not like you it, like if you take all your music off and put it right back on it, like, it's not a big deal, right. you know. Like you can get everything back. Um, but let's see. You can put it on the cloud, Jennifer Lawrence style. Yeah, I have, th I have three point <laughs> four gigabytes of data available, so it, it, it yeah, doesn't so it, it doesn't take up that much of your hard drive. It just that's they should make that clear. I don't. I mean, people. Some people just don't get things. Um, I mean. Which is fine, but I guess they released uh, released how to uh, get rid of the U2 album. Oh my God! Everyone's freaking oh, out. Oh, I, heard about oh, that. I was gonna mention that, oh but it's not God. even on. It's not even on your phone. That's what I'm saying. It's like, just, it's just like download it. It's there to download. Remember when everyone downloaded free music? Oh wait, that still happens. Now here's Apple giving you free music and everyone's bitching. It's like um, yeah, but it's yeah, U2. But look, they're giving me. Okay, the whatever. Band I don't listen yeah. to I don't listen to them either, but like obviously they're doing something right with how many fucking awards they have. But all I'm saying is Sound Oh, you sound like the, you it's got their the entire collection. Douche in the universe no, award. No, 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 no. I don't. I I know Vertigo, like that one fucking song where he's like doesn't know how to count in Spanish, but like that's all I have. Like and anyway, oh, besides so this young. new one. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I don't even know who you, you know more lyrics than I do. Nope. No Joshua Tree? I know, I don't I know Bono <laughs> oh, is some douche that always wears glasses. Anyway, and like back in the day when the iPod was out, that U2 edition that was black and red that I wanted, but that's all I know. Um, oh, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, that shit was tight. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. Everyone's like, oh, what the fuck? I've seen people post things like, oh, Apple has too much power over you through the iCloud if they can put music on your device, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, are you fucking stupid? Like, that's not even a security issue. They're like giving you free shit. I don't get, I don't know, people. Yeah, I, I read something like Yeah, I, I want to go slap whoever made that fucking picture. It was like, it was like, oh, check your phone. It's it's in check, there. And don't believe looked, me. Don't believe me. Check your everyone phone. Everyone's like, what? Yeah. What's going on? And I'm like, it's just there to download. It's like when you download an app. It's just an option to download if you want to listen to that right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. Don't download it and it won't be on your phone. Like that, that's Everybody that was, me was that. mad like Lars did it. It was Lars. <laughs> <laughs> Who clicked that button? <laughs> Who clicked, hate douche, that guy. who clicked the douche button at Apple? Damn it. That button. <laughs> People need to understand that privacy privacy is over. Did we click? Didn't you privacy click that button over. that said fucking you can do whatever you want on my device and <laughs> look at all the porn sites that I look at? And... That was in the, the scroll down menu. <laughs> you never scroll. Yeah, you didn't scroll down. That's yeah. your own fault. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Jennifer Lewis. Yeah, just because you clicked that checkbox in next. <laughs> So I haven't updated yet to iOS 8, obviously. Um, there's already memes out for iOS 8. This morning there was a, um, a meme where, like, apparently if you iPhone users know if you double-click the, the only button on the iPhone on the bottom there, um, when it comes up to close your apps, it also comes up for your recent con people that you've been talking to, and little bubbles with their contact names. Yeah. And apparently this meme was like, black people be like, and then it had, like, the phone, and it was, like, hiding it from his girlfriend because now you can see who All the reasons. you've been talking to. But you can do that anyway, right? Can't you just do that on yeah. by looking at the messengers? Or just look at anything. Yeah, exactly. It's funny. Well, I remember when, when um, the Touch ID scanner came out, like, for the iPhone 5, 5S where you have to use your fingerprint. It's, like, people, like, girlfriends be, like, add my fingerprint so I know it's real. Or, like, bitches bitches be cutting off your finger in the middle of the night. Or, I don't know, some stupid <laughs> shit, you know, like. Add my fingerprint. Oh, oh, no, I think I, I saw a picture of a water bottle and, and a chick, uh, or a beer bottle, and, and, like, someone putting tape on it and taking fingerprints on and saying, like, I, I got his password now or something like that. Just stupid oh things, That's dude. why when I got mine, I was smart about it. Mine, I didn't use my fingerprint. I used my ball print. So I'm just like, well, <laughs> sleep. Sometimes it takes a long time for it to recognize too. Like also, I was if you like, wanna, come on, man, come if, on. If you want to use your phone, and then you I'm like, to, okay, sure, you can use my phone. You have to undo <laughs> your pants. You have to undo your pants to use your phone. You're like, what are you doing? Oh, I'm unlocking my phone. And you're like down here, like, oh shit, sorry. Excuse I didn't me. though. I adjusted my I adjusted my clothing to fit. So now there's um, just a big hole cut in my crotch. <laughs> oh yeah, totally. That seems more convenient than a fingerprint. 
Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just did that. Okay, yeah. but here's... Well, here's, it's the only way I can be secure. Here's my spiel on iOS 8. I, the reason I think you two need to download it is because we group message, and it's like adds like 15 new things to group messaging that I think we would all love. So I think uh, like you guys what? need to get that. Do you, do you, tell, tell, me five, tell me five of them. I, I can tell you two. Because um, <laughs> there's really only two. <laughs> there might be more. No, no, no. Okay, fine. Okay, I got you. Okay, cool. So... Uh, the picture icon on the left now, you can hold it, and you can automatically take a picture or video and just send it like Snapchat, kind of, which is pretty cool because I okay, capture moments. Shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Two, they have a new microphone on the right, which you can send voice record messages like Heytel, like back in the day, or Voxer, whatever the hell you guys, I don't know if you guys ever use that stuff. I used to use Heytel a lot. Now it's like built in or like um, WhatsApp yeah. does that or whatever. Um so that just means more recordings of I'm pooping with an echo because you guys are in the stall. I've okay, never, too. I don't think you've ever bitched about it before, so I don't know what's, what's, where this is coming from. Anyway. <laughs> no, I was just, okay. I was just going through what's going to happen to me. Wait, this is wait. my experience. You're excited. Happened. Okay, sorry. I'm on the, I'm on the defense. Did you not get a picture of somebody in the bathroom today taking a shit? At like I did. I did nine this morning? I did get that picture. I did choose not to respond. <laughs> I was like, so iOS 8? Oh wait, no. Okay. okay, no. That's <laughs> yeah. Here, we, 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 I just wanted you guys to know that I was having healthy bowel movements. We we got three more. Okay, so if you go to the details on the top right, there's a new feature where you can click "Do Not Disturb," where you won't get a million notifications if you're not part of that conversation at that time. So if, like, oh, I, got, I got that okay, right so here. I'm doing text now. Just <laughs> not always. It doesn't always work if it's vibrating. It's, if yeah. I'm in class and it vibrates a million times in my pocket, I'm pissed. Anyway. Fo- not, not like pissed, <laughs> yeah. like not if it's you guys, obviously. Um, I do like that feature because I listen to like podcasts and stuff. Yeah, all and you don't want to keep hearing that shit. Anyway, number yeah, four, if you go to that same details menu and scroll all the way down, you can see all the attachments ever sent. So you don't have to see like two at one time or scroll all the way through to find that one picture you want to talk about. Oh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's pretty cool. And oh, you can leave group messages. That's the fifth one. And I'm never gonna leave our messages. You just but. you just want us to join that so you could leave. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Uh, it's okay. like updates, so I don't have to talk to you anymore. <laughs> I feel like if if like there's ever a group message with like me, you, Mike, and neighbor, like like we have sometimes, and like people keep talking, I feel like I would do not disturb that one sometimes. But we don't really talk that much anymore, so sometimes it gets crazy. Yeah. I'll upgrade. I'll upgrade. Ugh. I'll, I'll upgrade. I just, you know what? I missed the keynote because there's so much errors and stuff, and I forgot to think that there was going to be a new iOS. And well, then they yesterday talked it was about just there. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they talked about all the iOS, all all of it. iOS yeah, stuff in June. But so, so I saw your keyboard today. You sent us a picture of your keyboard. Um, yeah, it looked very Android-ish as far as like the words popping up on the top. That was my oh, choice. Oh no no no! Th- that that predictive text is part of Apple now. Apple does that. Are you talking about like where the yeah where it, like yeah. above above the keyboard it, it gives you three different options? Yeah, Apple does that now. Um, you can turn it off. It's not a huge deal. Okay. Because um, I didn't like that on Android. I'll keep it on. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Um, I mean, keyboard was I awesome. feel like it, I feel like it pops up right there, and I don't use it. You know, like I do like the black background because when they updated iOS seven, I didn't like what yeah, they, the too. things they did with the keyboard. Well, it's cool. Yeah, everything was so they, bright. They shortened the space bar, mm-hmm. so now I I. Put a yeah. period all the time. The time. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel was... like after Steve Jobs died, his vision died out, and practicality oh. came in. Oh. And it's like, let's give people what they want, not what but we he think got Jobs it. wants. He got so... us here, though. He got us here. So it's yeah, okay. he did. But now we just blend in with everybody else because the last two iPhones that have come out, the last everything that they've said is just compared to a phone that's been out from like Samsung that's been out for two years. Honestly, that's how it's always been. Okay, let's we'll backtrack. I think uh, the three G or three GS didn't even have picture messaging at first, and that was already a thing for like two years on every other phone. Yeah, my and flip then, phone had that exactly. Yeah, <laughs> but those didn't have it. And then like I think iOS three added picture messaging. You couldn't cut copy and paste on iOS four or five, which was way behind already. They've always been behind with the things, but what apple does they're just decaf right well yeah and what i like is that like they'll let other people go try that shit sometimes and like they'll see it work and then they'll go oh we're gonna do that too but we're gonna do it better and more seamlessly and and more um more work all the bugs out first yeah and i think i think they always make better usually most of the time they'll make better versions of things like they they haven't made big phones until now because they've seen people there's a demand for it now you know like they didn't make a demand for it like i do like my iphone yeah i love it me too. Sorry. iPhones. iPhones. I could, I could talk about Apple forever. So. Anyway, back to the keyboards real quick, though. 
You can download uh, any keyboard you want now, just like I think Android could have. But um, yeah, yeah. So so yeah, if you want like a purple keyboard, you can download an app to make it purple or whatever. How did whatever you know you I wanted a purple keyboard? I oh mean, my god, Mike! The purple ketchup, purple keyboard. You know, <laughs> got a purple keyboard. Again. That's purple something keyboard. Jobs would never let happen if he was alive. Yeah, That's true. customization. Never. Or is never. it was that kneeboard? I can't. Yeah, it's, I don't it's know kneeboard. How the song it's kneeboard. <laughs> I say keyboard. Purple keyboard. <laughs> I'll be happy. I'll I'll update it tonight and see what's up. Yeah. So did, yeah. so did you get the new did you get the new iPhone, Mike? I know you're on iPhone Whoa, more. Oh, don't even. So. All right. So I think the last time we recorded was Thursday. <laughs> oh. It was uh, Uh-oh. it was the the night the nigh of pre-orders, and um. <laughs> oh my god. It was it was yeah. It, that's what happened. <laughs> so at midnight, you could pre-order your iPhone. Fucking awesome. Good for you. How many times have you pre-ordered your iPhone and been there on day one? I have pre-ordered my iPhone never. I usually go wait in line. Oh, like, how long have you got it on day one before? Oh, like every iPhone. Oh, Mike's a day one. Yeah, I love I love having it on day one. I I posted okay. it on my Facebook. Like, I just I'm like, I'm upset that I can't be there on day one. Um, Why not? Uh, I can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Fair okay, enough. Here, here's struggle is real. Club. Welcome to the club. Okay, the TL the TLDR. Um, I I have to use my PayPal credit to do this. I could do that through Apple's website, so I decided to pre-order and get it delivered to my house. Didn't end up how I expected it. Um, you got a cut out. What? You got a cut out of the iPhone. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. I know. No, no. Okay, so um, I went to go pre-order. Everyone's trying to get to the site. It's hard to get to. You keep refreshing. Nothing's happening. This will be back soon. I'm trying my iPad, my iPhone, my Mac, my brother's computer, my computer. Same yeah, shit. Because Nick and I are both Nick and I are both trying to get this. The phone's the most accessible from what I heard. Yeah, ex- I finally got through on my phone. Like so, phone, yeah. after you get through on your phone, you have to try and go through the pre-order process 19 times because it always times out. So, I finally get through the checkout part, and I get to the part to pay. I know they accept bill me later or PayPal credit. Um, so, I go scroll down. It's not there. I'm like, what the fuck? So, I start talking to an Apple rep. She's like, oh, it should be there. It should be there. It should be there. I'm like, it's not there. It's not showing up on my phone. Maybe it'll show up on the, the regular site, but I can't see it right now. So your heart's like, beating. Yeah, I'm like, dude, I want this because I'm gonna in get the it. Moment, on. Yeah. This is my day one pre order. I'm gonna get it. Blah blah. Is it twelve oh one? Oh no, it's like one because I finally get through at one. It's like one thirty. Oh, okay. No, dude, it, this is no joke. There's nothing left. <laughs> yeah. No. So anyway, long story short, she told me to check out with my card. Um, I she said I could change it in the morning. I go to change it in the morning to a different payment method, and they said I had. They, I had to call and they're like, oh, you can only change it to a different card, not a different payment method. And I was like, what? I was like, yeah, you're going to have to cancel and reorder. I'm like, okay, well, the wait time's three to four weeks. I'm like, the wait, yeah, the wait time's three to four weeks now. I'm not going to be getting it like day one like it's, my yeah, order was. November. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. She's like, well, I'm really sorry. I'm like, what the fuck does your sorry mean for me? Like, are you fucking, like, you have that you one. You said that? No, but I'm not that mean to people, but like. <laughs> in his mind this is how he played this out is, in his mind okay cause I was frustrated and I was just like dude like I know you're sorry I know there's nothing else you can do so I, I accepted that like in my head I knew but like it, like I know that like why should she be sorry that, she that, don't that care. phone is already being held for me like why can't I just go hey pay this way like what the fuck it like, Apple, not, it's not being held that. for you it is I had it I had the order the order was made <laughs> <laughs> they're like there's like a screenshot of it like it's a child from a third world. It literally world. says <laughs> if you go to my Apple store right now, it'll say it'll say iPhone, it'll say iPhone fucking plus sixty four gig gold canceled, and I'll be like, you got the gold version? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, ooh. You want you want yeah. his serial number to be in the first range no, so that I don't when there was a, a problem about, with it, he got. That's why it took so long? You and every other brother wanted the gold one. Like I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. I wanted the gold one for the 5S and I didn't get it. So now I want it. I, now I want it. So fuck off. Anyway. So what happens? She said, beautiful. sorry, you got to reorder. I got to go. Sorry, you got to reorder. Um, there's bad. a second part to the story. I'll try and keep it short. I re- no, no. I'll, I reorder. Okay, well, I reorder it. Uh, three to four weeks. Okay, whatever. I'm accepting defeat. Fuck my life. My friend Brian hits me up. Brian Traviaga. You, you know him, Jason. He's the, the other hot dog Brian. Um, so... Um, <laughs> He also pre-ordered. <laughs> he also pre-ordered. Um, and he got through. Like, okay, so some people got a, a, a message that said, hey, we can't contact at t finish, finish payout tomorrow. I wish I got that fucking one, but I didn't. Finish payout tomorrow, whatever. My brother got that. Brian got that. Um, Brian finished his checkout. And then they email him. They go, oh, you qualified to get another uh, iPhone 
you know, six on release day. And I, he's like, oh, like, my wife doesn't want it. Like, do you want it? I was like, oh, uh, yeah, I fucking want it. Are you kidding me? So we go through all this fucking trouble. I can't, I, I call, I have to call, Intel, call Apple to cancel my second order I've already made. Because I can't do it online. I was on, I was on hold for two <clears> fucking <throat> hours. No fuck, on a Friday night, mind you. I, this, I spent my Friday night doing this. Um, oh, Jesus. Living the life. Yeah, right? Um, and Nick's also on hold on his phone. He gets through fucking quicker than I do. Um, so Nick's talking to the guy about his order. I'm trying to talk to someone. I'm like, wait. And so I talk to that guy, and he helps me. He's like, yeah, dude, you're never getting through. I'm like, great, fucking thanks. He helps me cancel my order. Brian goes to order it. He goes, oh, this is a total. I was like, that sounds kind of low. And he goes, oh, it's the iPhone 6. And I'm like, well, can you get the 6 Plus? Like, I really wanted that one, blah, blah. Oh, it says three to four weeks. I'm like, are you fucking serious? Why so long? They know these Chinamen know that this wave of uh, but let's, let's talk about what just happened. More. Let's just talk about what happened in my world just now. I fucking had a pre-order day one. I had to wait three to four weeks. I had a pre-order day one, and then I had to make another fucking fourth order to pre-order it. And have what's it the three hashtag you would give this, Jason? What's the hashtag you would give this? Hashtag. Several <laughs> <laughs> problems for me. Well, that's crappy. <laughs> Hashtag, hashtag picture of Nelson. Hashtag that Apple life. Fucking A, man. Oh, that Apple life sounds amazing, Michael. On another note, <laughs> if Apple released a brick with an Apple logo on it, I would still buy it. So. You would, too. <laughs> right, you would right. still try to get it in your mail. Oh, yeah. I, it, I would bring it to all my riots. Whenever I'm throwing shit with a note on it through a window, I would use that. <laughs> it would be that yeah. one. Yeah, like, can that I get that back? I paid good yeah, money. Actually, that was kind of expensive brick. Uh, I know your window is bu- <laughs> Let me just okay. The Here's eye the brick gold. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so where do we stand now on the iPad or I, iPhone thing? When will you have an iPhone Plus it in your says, hand? When will uh, we see it on it camera? Says October twelfth through twentieth. So about a month. I don't know, dude. It's, it, it gets shipped to your house. Yeah, it's gonna be shipped to my house. Oh sweet, sweet. So maybe it'll come on a Thursday and we can open it up and see uh, another roll of uh, another row of icons. Yeah, <laughs> it, the plus is big, dude. It's it's. You, you wouldn't do it on the podcast because it's like. It's a sexual thing for Mike. I mean, dude, it is the time with me and my phone, dude. That's the time of the year you don't want to. Like the podcast is over. See you guys later. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'd be like, it'd be like this big in front of me. Like, hey, what's up, guys? You like, is that the mini or is that the six plus? Damn, you're gonna be so sterile within your pocket. It's gonna kill all your swimmers. Dude, I can't fucking wait. Are you kidding me? Who needs kids? Uh, any of you guys get another uh, the iPhone? I am on a contract. Now that I just cream a, a budget. <laughs> No, I uh, sounds like uh, sounds like I'll wait until till the iPhone seven comes out and I'll buy Mike's iPhone six plus. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the tradition alive. Out of all of this iPhone talk, did you hear anything? Usually on the new numbers of iPhones, they come out with the iTouch. That's new. Did they say anything about the new iTouch at all? Um, no, but they've already scheduled a new event for I think October twenty first, and that'll be their uh, okay. that'll be their yeah. that'll be their yeah. iPad event. Um, and I think yeah. they might, they'll probably throw something about iPods in there if they're going to update they, they it. They're like, just buy a yeah. fucking iPhone, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the iTouch is friends. the iPod, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Blake, well, I have an i I have an iTouch 5. 5? Yeah, I have an yeah. iTouch 5 and I have an iPhone 5. Well, the, like, the iTouch is cool. The newest have, update like, to the store, like, they got this, rid of, they, yeah, they got, they've got rid of the classics. Like, they used to, like, up, up until, like, 60. last week, they were still selling that, but when they updated the store, it's 30 gig. Yeah, we're, we're done with these now. What, what is it? Is that a twenty or sixty? Thirty. Oh, this this is a thirty. Yeah. I paid three hundred and fifty dollars for a hundred and twenty gig. Ah, uh, me too. A hundred and twenty gig iPod, and I, I mean, I still use it. It's in my car. It's plugged into my car stereo. But it's funny to me that I paid three hundred dollars for that, and then like, then I paid three hundred dollars for an iPod Touch. That I don't even use. It's sitting on, it sits on my nightstand, and I haven't touched it in years. But you like, used to yeah. use it. I did. I did before I yeah. when I when I accidentally made that switch to Android and regretted the <laughs> shit out of it. Um, I I did use it a lot, and then I used it as as a um, I, I put all my music on it when I would go to the gym all the time, and that was that was good. It was good That's to have that. But, yeah, yeah, I fucking I love. I remember when they first announced the iPod Touch. I went crazy to try and get one. And my mom drove me around all these stores to try and find it. Like, you couldn't just, like, you know, I was calling everywhere, and we finally found one. And, dude, that thing was a fucking brick. Like, even Let's the go, iPod mom. Touch. Yeah. I'm like, come on, please drive me. Uh, well. And we drove to, like, fucking BFE ghetto fucking <laughs> somewhere and got one. It felt like I was going to get stolen on the way out, but I got you it. Sure it wasn't, sure it wasn't the iPod? 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like poo boo. Yeah. Oh, your P-U-B-O-O. mom's so nice. Oh, oh. Your mom's so nice. Oh, did you get it? It looks good, don't you know? Because like, your mom's from Minnesota to me. Like, cause she <laughs> my mom? Is- yeah, she's like, let's go, honey. Let's get <laughs> in the car and see if we can find uh, it for you. Nope, not from Minnesota. No. Not from Minnesota. My mom's just down. She's awesome. Paula is down. Paula's down. Damn. Yeah, I was sitting. At, I was. I was. Uh, I was Snapchatting my my freaking fortune the other day, and I said, "Oh, this mm-hmm. this fortune's way too deep." And then Jason sent me a picture of a cat, and said, "Oh, your mom is too deep." And then, <laughs> lo and behold, I was sitting next to my mom, so I took a picture of my mom, and I said, "She said you're a liar." So, <laughs> I thought it was funny that he texted me about yo mama jokes, and then I was sitting right next to my mom. And then so. I was all, oh, yeah, he was like, <laughs> yeah, we all got a, we, we all got a kick out of that one with his shirt off. It was cute. Hey, you know, I should have screenshotted Show, it. Showing off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, about that. So it's almost hockey season, guys. Woo! And uh. There's this big uh, buzz on the yeah, you know, no like, hockey for you, but no sports. Period. We like we like sports and we don't care who knows. No. How are your Giants doing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see that. <laughs> you didn't see that picture I posted the other day. <laughs> Which oh, yeah, one? What happened? What, what's the record? Are they zero and three? They're zero and two. It's been two weeks. Um, if they're zero and three already, that I wouldn't be surprised. I stumbled oh. something online that was just like the Giants fucking suck. This oh, year. <laughs> oh yeah. No, someone posted on like ESPN. Yeah, some someone was like, someone's getting fired for this. It was a legit like sports yeah, website. Like, it was, it was just there. like yeah. they fucking suck. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> okay, so the quick rundown with the Giants. The first game they looked fucking god awful, and it was just horrible. I was really upset. Second game I didn't even get to watch because I was stuck in class. I think, but I was getting all the update. Oh no, I was uh no, I was at Knott's Berry Farm with my work. Um, but I was getting on the updates, and I'm like, halfway through the game, Eli Manning's like 19 for 23, you know, throwing a touchdown, I was like, okay, like, he's doing he's doing good this week, like, maybe we have a chance, and then, no, it didn't happen. We lost to the Cardinals, the fucking Arizona Cardinals. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah. Uh. Sorry. But hopefully, I'm optimistic, like well, what's always. What's the criminal record for your team? You guys are you guys are good at that, right? Like you guys are winning that record. Dude, the Giants are usually are usually up there, but um, not this year, man. Let me tell you. Who was the kid basher? Who was the kid basher? Pretty much, if that, if your team's was he on the Giants? If, no, if your team I don't know. if your team's main color is purple, you're probably like going to jail. So pretty, Ray, Ray, Ray Rice uh, had the wife beat thing from. Uh, I saw he, that. He's from the Ravens, so he wears purple. Now it's uh, uh it's uh Adrian Peterson, who's uh. The number one. The one that beat his kid. Yeah, the number one running back last year. He's from the Vikings, the Minnesota Vikings. Minnesota. Yeah, I know. I think the kid had Vikings bandages. Over also, his where's stitches, po- is that, that's head. the one that like beat his kid with the switch. And- yeah. So like, there's a lot of stuff going on. I thought I thought this wasn't new news, but I think recently he like he admitted to it. Is what happened. He so, said, "Quote my bad." <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much. Um, I'm sorry. I hate football players. They're the Vikings. Games. The Vikings. Um. Suspend. They're like, oh, you're suspended this week, and then this week they're like, oh, you're gonna play. This is fine. We'll let you deal with your shit on your own. And then everyone freaked out about it. Everyone was like calling for action, and um, I, I think well, yeah, I'm, there's a high res shot of the kid with the bandages. Yeah, over there was another. There was another incident um, reported. So the the fucking Vikings were like, oh, you know, like you're not playing for us until you figure your shit out, or you're never gonna play for us again. So um, that sucks for him. That sucks. I guess you shouldn't beat your children, obviously, but it also sucks for fantasy football because I own him in two of my leagues. So <laughs> oh, and he's a he's a he's a first first round first round draft pick. I drafted him before I knew any of this. The first you picked him first. It was either him or the dog biter. The little dogs fight. <laughs> Michael Vick. You picked him. It was not Michael Vick. Uh, you, you, you have Vick. You, you have Vick too. You know nothing. You know nothing, Jon Snow. No, I don't. You know nothing, Jon Snow. No. <laughs> Do you have Vick? Do you have Vick? No, I don't have Vick. Damn. Chill. Because someone picked him before you. Oh, no, me, man, because man. he's not relevant anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's you funny is around Blake. I was <laughs> I was watching something last night and they were like, uh, if you're a, a football player, here's a word of advice: don't do anything to your children that you aren't allowed to do to a full grown man in pads and a helmet. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> don't do anything. It's funny too, man. One of the Bears players they got they got him. Um, they said like apparently like five or five or six years ago he like 
beat up his wife or something happened. There was yeah, they, knocked her out a little they bit. Didn't, they didn't go into be, specifics you know. of what the domestic violence was, but they did say there was a domestic violence situation. So something went down. He got in trouble for it. He got like a two game suspension or something. And then he ended up starting an organization to like help people who are victims of domestic violence. He went through he he ended up like they they said he had like some personality disorder. So he went through a whole bunch of therapy, started this whole like organization to help people. But now that all this shit's going down with all these people beating their kids and beating their wife, they're like, well, what about that guy? Like, so they're almost bringing up the past with this dude and like he's like what the fuck so now they have him on suspension and oh, like dude, really? it, it was like fucking six years ago that's so wack. i didn't even see that like yeah you can't if you're gonna have a new policy it's not retroactive like that's not yeah cool. yeah no that, that's not that's, cool that's like saying hey you're free oh wait oh. football is a bunch of hoodlums it's a bunch of low class low poverty hoodlums that just i mean it's one step above basketball and the only reason that football is any better than basketball is because i don't have to hear those goddamn shoes squeaking on the court that's the only reason <laughs> I love That's the so reason. It's just shitty. It's just a bunch of fucking people that say, it ain't, it ain't my kid that I beat up all like, you know, oh, it's like the whistle tips. somebody else's like, kid that like, you beat up, which is kind of worse. Oh, I just can't deal with it. It's just stupid. The whistle tips. <laughs> yep, and they're going to get concussed, and they're going to be even stupider. <laughs> okay. So anyway, hey, so anyway, okay. everybody on your Giants is out of jail, right? For now. For now. Hmm. Yeah, like I said, we uh, we usually have the we uh, we usually have the criminals, but um, I guess it only it only counts when we're doing good. Yeah. Well, like Dan was saying, we you know hockey season's coming up. We have a fantasy hockey league that we just drafted for last Sunday. Um, I was super excited. I got a couple of uh, I I missed my key players from the Hawks. Somebody else snatched them up, but I did get the. You were so mad. I was so mad. I was pissed. Who would do this to me? (laughs) I was like to find out it's Dan. I was like (laughs) messaging people like (laughs) trade him. He's not going anywhere. I'm like yeah. It's Dan's second account. He has two teams in the league. It should have been. Jason snatched up three of my picks. (laughs) Here's how it went down. I'm like, who's this guy? And he's like, oh, he's really good. You should pick him. And I was like, okay. Time for no, this. by then, by then, here Click. he defeated me. <laughs> Click, and then fucking Dan's like, you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> like, <laughs> what, you told me to pick him. <laughs> that was like the third time. That was like by round three. He was just like, I should get this guy. I'm like, stop looking at my paper that you weren't <laughs> Like, But it was good. It was, was fun. Looking at stats is what, my well, team's- I was looking at stats, and I got good people. Dan, Dan wasn't happy with his... Um, no, I'm good. I'm good with my people. My team, my team's full of a bunch of people with um, like eleven letter last names because they're all like Russian and like <laughs> Slovakian. It's, it's if like, you can't pronounce their name, pick them. <laughs> oh, it's so hard. Jason like picks this guy that's really good that I wanted to pick, and he can't even say his fucking name. I'm like, fuck you. I've been watching like, him for like five, six, Lukaki? seven, eight, nine Lukaki? years, and he's like, Lachis. His name's Lachis. <laughs> It's not You're not hawking a loogie. Come on. It's funny. It should uh, be fun. But I'm excited. Um, we did decide. Well, I just decided right now that on the weeks that um, that Dan and I are versus each other, we will do some sort of challenge on the podcast oh, and some yeah. some sort of that consequence. Can I be the referee? Be... Yes. And I'll be like, shave, right, guys, make you eyebrow. Fight. You guys should just fist fight. I say eyebrow because I only have one. <laughs> it doesn't really it does cross but if you were to walk across it like if if a little bitty jason were to walk across my eyebrows you'd still sink through the middle there's like not enough support hair there to keep oh. you going a little bit it's not quite, that's all i can it's picture not quite now. that big it's not dude that. mine's a slide yeah but yours at least reflects emotion mine keeps rain out of my eyes <laughs> yeah. one raised eyebrow he's got umbrella brows I'm I never knew it was bad until that little girl made fun of me at the like Poppy Festival that one year. Wait, what? She was like nine. Dude, look, nine bud, I was at the Poppy Festival. I was at the Poppy Festival having the greatest day, enjoying time. I was like, great. And, we're, like, and, and Jason's mom's all, let's go get some candy or let's go get some uh, like toffee corn or whatever that stuff's called. You know, I'm like, all right, so like or whatever. So I walk over there to it, and then there's some lady ready in the booth, and there's some like disenchanted kid brat playing. I don't know, Nintendogs or something on their handheld system. And, and the she's only back time there. She looks up, she looks at your eyebrows. Dude, she caught, she made eye contact with me and she just started, and then she goes back to her game like this and she's like, 
Unibrow, unibrow, shave that unibrow, unibrow, <laughs> oh unibrow, my God. you got a unibrow. And I'm looking around in injustice, but your mom, <laughs> Jason's mom's blind to it all. Crystal's, I don't know, doing something with Blake. And I'm like, are you serious? Like and you wonder why people beat other people's children. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I yeah. was I was impressed. I was shocked. I was stunned. I you were impressed on that a nine-year-old knew what a unibrow was. <laughs> Seriously, you know, she was just playing her Nintendo. She was playing fetch with her puppy, and she was just singing some uh, unibrow song. You're probably getting all bent out of shape about this, but her dog's name was unibrow or something. <laughs> you know, every, and you know, she's Dan, shaving right? it. That'd be so <laughs> great. Be so Dan, every time I see somebody with a unibrow, that song pops into my head. I swear to God. <laughs> were you there that Were you there? No, but I heard the story. I was I was already living at the beach at that time, but I remember that story and it <laughs> sticks in my head so vividly that Yeah. So I put my head down in defeat and I go running back to your sister and I'm like, this sucks and she just made fun of me. And she so was like, oh, I can't. She is right. Me pluck, pluck a unibrow, asshole. I can't deal with freaking parents who can't like parent. I can't, I can't deal like okay. She was so brave. I could have like I don't know. But I'm saying like if I her parent done? was there or something, like they should be like, Oh, that's not very nice. Like you shouldn't say that she to was, people. She was jockey in the caramel corn stand. She was like <laughs> whooping up some bratty ass kid, a thing of candy corn or uh, of of uh, cotton candy, and I'm sitting there getting ridiculed by a child in fifth grade. I'm just oh, so you gotta see. you gotta teach your kid manners, like that's not cool. At the at the bank. At least you know how to clown. People people in in, in well, people everywhere. I mean it, I saw it a lot when I lived in Huntington Beach because there would be like rich ladies coming in with their badass kids, and the kids are like hopping all the hopping through all the furniture at the bank, you know, hopping over shit, climbing on shit, just going crazy. I am like, I'm trained in the in like the mom look, like where you shoot that look, and the kids are like, oh shit. <laughs> like I, <laughs> the ladies that work Jason always doesn't let anything go. You're just like Crystal. <laughs> The ladies at work always laugh, and they're just like, damn, that kid just shut down when you looked at him. I'm like, I gave him the fucking look, man. Don't fuck around in my bank, bro. <laughs> it's, <laughs> my it's not It's not time. It's not time. <laughs> Do you give out cookies and water and stuff at your bank like the other banks? Is your bank super air-conditioned? Oh, because of me? Yes. Yes. I, I, I'm always hot. Like, I'm fucking hot-blooded. I, I pour sweat when I sleep. Like, I'm always hot. So I go – my first thing when I do my walkthrough in the bank, I like – every different thermostat goes as down as low as it can go. The, girl, the girls in there are like, yeah, what about like bring a sweater. You're a dick. They're all frigid, and you're just like, I don't care. I don't. I'm but sorry. They're all cool. I, have, I have a collared shirt, and it, the – fucking comes up to here in a tie that chokes me and these bitches are in short sleeve shirts and like their cleavage showing and like they're just like oh they, it's cold in here people, eh? no, no, no there's no good show cleavage doesn't get cold i've learned over the years that cleavage does not get cold but I, but my, my point is is that they're wearing short sleeve shirts and like yeah, yeah because they're dressed they're, for summertime they airy clothes well i don't get I to dress for summertime. summertime i got long sleeve shirts with a collar choking me and a tie choking me and dress pants why and, why 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 are you choked out with your tie. That's he's, gonna, just, he's a freaking. That's the struggle, nerd. bro. Sounds that's like the, the man talk. Sounds like the man talk. It to is me. the man. Yeah, You're the, the man. man. The man's choking me down with his tie. You get bad little kids. Just bad little kids. Oh yeah. Oh, bad. There used to be these kids that would come in, and they would come in every Saturday right before we closed, and they would stay for like an hour. So we'd end up being like there an hour longer than we had to be. Why? What and is she doing? The parents would always sit down and just like discuss their whole account, like oh from my beginning God. to end. Like, and these kids would like have a soccer ball. They'd be kicking the soccer ball around. I fucking took this soccer ball. I swear to God, I was looking for a knife to just. I was gonna pop that shit. I was done. I was gonna your time. Kick the soccer the ball bank. around a motherfucking <laughs> bank. Are you stupid? And the parents are just like, oh he 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 he. Oh, and then they go back inside. The thing that I don't understand. If you walk into an office and sit down with <laughs> a personal a banker, you have. <laughs> oh, if you walk into an office and sit down with a personal banker. All of your children need to be in that fucking office with you. There is no reason why that child should be running amok around the fucking bank, kicking shit, fucking running around, flinging papers, doing well, anything. Control your fucking some children. There's a million fucking lollipops. That's <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, <laughs> they don't need more. <laughs> oh, I got eight. I got eight in my mouth. I'm going to run around and fucking throw papers everywhere. <laughs> Oh, wow. I wish I could get the security footage of you working all day long. <laughs> Dude, it was like, like, that would be so right in the face, like I'm gonna kill a child. Today's the day. Today's the day. Go to jail. 
Yep, you have the steam coming out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. When there's bad kids in, in my work, everybody just looks at me because they know I have fucking zero tolerance for fucking bad kids. I hate it. I, I hate Take it. it. Take it I over. will walk out in the lobby. I will stop what I'm doing. I'll fucking put all my shit to the side and walk out and just, what are you doing? Go in there. Now. And they're just like, oh, mom. Damn. <laughs> I don't fuck around, man. You've never had run-ins no. with parents that are like, don't tell my kid what to do. I'm like, he does not need to be running around in the lobby. That's not how she said shit. Don't tell my kid what to do. I don't know. Oh. Where, I don't know what kind of area he lives in. <laughs> it's rough. It's <laughs> It's rough. <laughs> Well, I've had a beer, and Mike's got to get to Taco Bell, so do you guys have a would you rather? Uh, would you rather get paid to test Taco Bell or lick, my, lick nacho cheese off of Mike's beard? I would do both. I oh, don't okay. want to lick That's cute. All right, hold on. Here's not a would you rather, but here's like a question. If you could taste test for any restaurant, what would it be and why? Ooh. Olive Garden, because I love their shit. <laughs> Olive Garden just gives okay. me the shit. It's the way I am, but that it's place is so plastic. White Castle. Ooh, see, I've never even eaten there. I don't even yeah. care about cases. Oh, if you come out this way, man, that's the first place we have to go. I, I had a, I had a slider one time, but it had those little dehydrated onions on it. I hate oh, those onions. are so uh, good. Those uh, are good. Uh, that's what it's all about, man. I've had the frozen ones, and they're just gross. Not as good. I'd, I'd probably pick if it's a fast. If like if we're just going basic fast food, yeah, someplace yeah. that all of us would know. Just like a probably Carlos Jr. because they're the only ones brave enough to like go big fat on their burgers. Um, Burger King's burgers are, are thin and floppy. They have no like. Yeah. Burger King, where half the menu is chicken. <laughs> Honestly, at least I, they changed the shape of their chicken. I, like it's at least a different shape. I've enjoyed uh, doing all the stuff for Taco Bell. I would like if I actually have a taco or burrito or something soon. Um, so I like that, but I think it would be really cool to do like Jack in the Box because they always have like interesting things. Like they always they, like I'm, I, they think upset in the box or whatever, but like they fucking they still do they still have that stoner nighttime menu. Yeah, and yeah, every time I go, it's, it's not stoner cool. nighttime, and I want like a grilled cheese burger, but I can't get one <laughs> after dude, night. Dude, I don't go I after night. Months, it was horrible, dude. It was so greasy and like it had no love or care in it at all. It was forgotten and discarded. I don't care. I, don't care. I want it anyway, dude. Stoners don't really along with it. You know? It wasn't enough. There was like seven in there. I was like, what the fuck is anyway, this? Anyway, I want to be part of the team that goes. Let's make a menu for stoners. Like that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, like. Well, I, I think you should have some challenges when you go. One is to try to take a picture of the inside of the place or a video, something like I want to um, see the inside of the place. I'll try. I'll try. What is to get a picture of the food that you're actually sampling? What if I just FaceTimed you guys at the same, like how while you, I was there? How do you get it? Like, how do you get a gig like that? Okay, I yeah, saw I saw a survey on Facebook and it was like, oh, get paid to eat Taco Bell, and so I took the and survey. And that was for real. You weren't hacked. No, 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 because it was. It what was made like you legit. click that? Oh, that's smiting my wheelhouse. <laughs> <laughs> it was 3 a.m. and he was on that liquid diet. And he was just like, Talk about yeah, hell. right? Click. <laughs> okay, paid, let's not make let's not make jokes count. like none of you guys would do that. Like, regardless I mean, I would. Of oh, I would. How I would. High you are. That's all Dude, I'm on. I'm I'm, I'm on a dream. focus. I'm on a focus group for Allstate right now, bro. That's, <laughs> like, what I'm, that's the dream. Dude. <laughs> Money's okay. money, bro. <laughs> I, it's called Insight Focus. Is the name of the people that do this, and I keep getting emails uh, whenever they have new ones, and I take the survey, and if I qualify, then I go. So I do that. And then I'm also part of a uh, VG market, which also does video game testing. So suck it, Ooh. losers. Uh, well, get going, <laughs> get going, get going. Thanks for hanging out with the Random Friend Squad. You can find Bud on the internet. You can find Mike at Taco Bell. You can find Jason <laughs> in the shade. See you guys next week. <laughs> get out of here. Yeah, go, go, go. Peace.